veuillez vous lever. Good job. President, please be seated. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. Today, the chamber continues to hear the testimony. Aujourd'hui, la chambre poursuit. Of the current witness, and then comments hearing testimony of another witness that is through TCW883. Mr. Amhoy, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Greffier. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Except the National Lead Co Lawyer for Alexis Civil Parties, who is absent this morning for personal uh, matters. Mr. Nunji is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the greffier. The witness who is to conclude his testimony today, that is Mr. Seinström, is present in the courtroom. We also have a reserve witness today, that is to TCW883. The witness confirms that to the best of his knowledge, he has no relationship by blood or by law to any other two accused, that is Nunchir and Kiel's Horn, or through any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness took an oath before the Irish Rapsley Truth yesterday morning. And he has Mr. Momreti as his duty counsel. President, thank you. The Chamber now decides on the request by Nunchir. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nunchir dated 15 September 2015, which states that due to his health, headache and back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in justice hearings, he requests to waive his right to participate in and be present at the 15 September 2015 hearing. Having seen the medical report of Nunchi by the duty doctor for the excuse of the ECCC dated 15 September 2015, which notes that Nunchi has chronic back pain and it becomes more severe when he sits for long and recommends that the chairman grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information, I presume to rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the Chamber grants Nunchi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via audiovisual means, and the Chamber instructs the heavy unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that he can follow the proceedings. This applies to the whole day. The floor is now given to the co-counsel for Kiel's important to put questions to this witness. You may proceed, counsel. Bonjour, merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour à tous. Bonjour, Thank you, Mr. Monsieur Sengsrun. Je reprends everyone. le fil de mes questions. Morning, Et nous nous en étions Sengsrun. arrêtés hier à, aux personnes, aux forces armées qui ont participé, à, selon euh, vos dires, à l'arrestation euh, de Cham, à laquelle vous avez participé. Vous avez indiqué euh, hier que les neuf personnes appartenant au, à l'unité des longues épées étaient présentes. Pour euh, être précise, vous avez donné hier cinq noms dont vous vous souvenez euh, comme euh, faisant partie euh, de cette unité des longues épées. Je voudrais confirmer avec vous qu'ils étaient bien là. 
Vous avez évoqué euh, Laf, Laf Chai, qui euh, est par la suite devenu votre beau-frère. Laf Chai, c'est deux H, un accent circonflexe Y pour les interprètes. Est-ce qu'il était présent au moment de l'arrestation de Sitcham au moment de l'arrestation. Comme je l'ai dit hier, le was groupe into smaller groups divisé en sous-groupes. Villages, maybe Sambomir Kor, Sambomir Kor, and other villages. D'autres villages. The Cham people, as I stated, were disaggregated and placed dit, in various villages within the commune to live mixed with the Khmer people. Alors, je vais reposer ma question différemment. Qui avez-vous vu du groupe des longues épées comme ayant participé à l'arrestation des Chams ce jour-là. Which members of that unit or group did you see as having participated in the arrest of the Cham? Regarding the participation of members of the long assault group in the Sambu Mihako village, Ces gens étaient déjà là quand je suis arrivé décrit précisément ce que je and devais faire. Only upon the arrival of the Cham people who had been arrested did I realize that I was instructed to go there and stand guard of those people. Sont arrivés que je me suis rendu compte que je devais monter la garde, surveiller ces gens qui venaient d'arriver. J'entends bien, en dehors de Tai Kim Hoon, si j'ai bien compris euh, euh, ce que vous avez indiqué, quelles autres personnes du groupe des Longues Épées avez-vous reconnu qui étaient déjà sur place au sujet de l'arrestation. Uh, no et on ne pouvait so se voir dans votre déclaration E3 bar 5-2-5-2 ERN en français 00269892, ERN en anglais 00235517, ERN en Khmer 00235022. Voilà uh, ce que vous indiquez. Je cite, durant l'arrestation, les personnes à épée longue étaient réparties en trois groupes, à raison de quatre personnes par groupe. Après avoir arrêté les chams, les gens à épée longue sont tous partis en laissant nous quatre conduire les chams au centre de sécurité se trouvant dans la pagode d'Otrakun. Sans de citation. De ce passage de votre déclaration, je comprends car on comprend que vous avez vu hein, les gens, euh, le groupe des longues épées répartis en trois groupes. Comment euh, est-ce que vous avez su, si vous n'avez pas pu euh, reconnaître ou bien voir les gens à part Tae Kim Hoon, comment vous avez su qu'il s'agissait euh, de personnes appartenant au groupe des longues épées Q. 
Regarding the uh, long assault uh, group, I actually recognize uh, all members of the long assault group if I were to meet them during the daytime. However, even to place at night, and it was difficult to recognize anyone. You can imagine that even for amongst your own families, uh, your children or husband, if they were 12 meters away from you at night time, you would not recognize them. And that was the case. Mais comment avez-vous su dans ces conditions qu'il s'agissait du oh, groupe des longues épées C'est ça que je voudrais savoir. Did you know that those people were members of the long sword group? Then, that is what I want to find out from you. Won't you come? I recognize that they were members of the long sword group. J'ai reconnu que c'était le groupe aux longues épées. They were different from us. Ils We, the civilians, uh, did not have any weapon uh, uh, with us. But the long sword group members, they had long swords and they actually carried the loose swords uh, behind their back. So it is uh, rather distinct uh, from, from us. We, including myself, uh, a palm tree climber, did not have any weapon. Est-ce que vous avez reconnu euh, ou vous avez su s'il y avait euh, you know des gens de la milice de la commune qui étaient présents le jour de cette arrestation they were present or not, Je ne sais pas si if it were to happen during the daytime, then it would be very si easy to si spot si who was who, whether they were members of the commune militia or the members of the long sort of group. But what happened was at night time, and I have uh, repeatedly said I was not told explicitly what to do when I was instructed to go to the area near the main road. Sur la route and I was not told as to what I had to do while I was there. Et on ne m'a pas dit ce que je devais y faire. Alors, on ne vous a pas dit avant d'arriver à cet endroit ce que vous deviez well, faire. You Mais not told par rapport à l'extrait de votre déposition que j'ai lu, je comprends que euh, le groupe des longues épées est parti et vous a laissé seul avec euh, vos trois autres. Euh, euh, camarades pour euh, guider euh, les chams vers la pagode. Donc ma question est de savoir qui vous a demandé et à quel moment de conduire les chams à la pagode. The, uh, there were many Cham people who were arrested, uh, there were two to three hundred of them, and the road leading to the pagoda was uh, pretty small, the width was about uh, four, meter, four meters, and for me I was assigned to walk at the back of the line. And I was walking behind those uh, charm people, and I was not sure, since I did not see it, uh, anyone, whether there were, there was any walking in the middle, si or who were leading the group to the pagoda. Était à la tête du groupe, qui, s'il y avait des gens au milieu, et qui menait ce groupe, donc, à la pagoda. Qui vous a demandé d'accompagner les chams à la pagode. Qui, quelle est cette personne qui vous a donné cet ordre-là Je 
I was not the order to lead the the people, the Cham people, to the pagoda. The instruction that I was given to me was that when the Cham people were being brought to the pagoda, I was supposed to walk behind them. I did not have any authority to lead them to the pagoda. Excuse me, sir. Excusez-moi, mon temps est compté, Excuse donc, euh, monsieur le témoin, j'ai besoin que vous répondiez précisément aux questions précises. Qui Mr. vous a dit d'accompagner les Cham à la pagode Vous dites « on m'a dit ». Qui est « on » Qui est cette personne The person who instructed me to go there the since I was at the uh, kitchen hall was the chief cuisine, of the kitchen hall at the Sambomirko village. Dans le village de Sambomirko. Mais vous avez dit un petit peu plus tôt que lorsque vous étiez uh, en train de travailler, on ne vous a pas dit exactement ce que vous deviez faire. Donc j'ai compris que c'est en arrivant sur place que vous avez compris quel était votre rôle. Qui vous a parlé sur place une fois que vous êtes arrivé à côté du groupe des Charmes Qui vous a parlé I have already uh, said the person who was uh, told to go with the Acham uh, people la was uh, the, the unit chief in Zambumi Kaur, and his name was Hock Hoon. Il Hock Hoon. Quand vous êtes arrivé à côté du groupe des Cham, c'est lui qui était présent. When you arrived close to the group of Cham, was he the person who was present? When I arrived at the gathering point, uh, the unit chief was not there. Le chef Excusez-moi, est-ce que vous pouvez uh, répéter votre réponse? L'interprète n'a pas saisi votre réponse. What I stated is that the person who told me to, to go to that point was Hock Hoon, who was the uh, unit chief at the Sambo Mirko village. Dans le village de Sambo Mirko. Et le moment où il vous a parlé, vous étiez encore sur votre lieu de travail. Moi, ma question est de savoir. Quand vous êtes arrivé auprès du groupe des 200 ou 300 Cham que vous avez évoqué, que vous avez trouvé les, le groupe hein, des gens à épée longue qui étaient à côté de ces Cham, qui vous a parlé pour vous dire ce qu'il fallait faire avec euh, les Cham qui étaient en groupe ce jour-là Qui vous a parlé Quel est le nom de la personne qui vous a parlé à ce moment-là When I arrived at that location, I was not instructed to take the Cham people to the pagoda, but I was instructed to stand guard of the Cham people who had been brought in from the villages and to make sure that the Cham people did not flee to the riverbank. Et quel est le nom de cette personne qui vous a dit de surveiller les Cham And what is the name of the person who asked you to keep an eye on the Cham witness, please uh, repeat your response as uh, the microphone was not operational when you spoke. And so it is very difficult for me to respond to your question. I already repeated my response. Hock Hoon was the one who instructed me to go to that gathering location. And when I arrived there, 
he brought in those jam people from the villages des villages and he was the one lui who told me to stand guard of those jam people and his name let me repeat again was Tai Kum Huan and Tak-Huan. he was the deputy chief of the long sword Et il était group le chef adjoint du groupe aux longues épées vous avez euh, indiqué à l'audience hier yesterday que During the proceedings, le groupe des longues épées aurait été constitué quelque part fin 1976 ou début 1977. Mais dans votre déclaration E3-5252 à l'ERN en français 00-269-891, ERN en Khmer 00-235021 et ERN en anglais 00-235516. Vous dites que c'était en juin 76. Est-ce que ça vous rafraîchit la mémoire et est-ce que vous pouvez indiquer si c'est plutôt mi-76, fin 76 ou début 77 I have already uh, said that under the Khmer Rouge regime, it was almost impossible to pinpoint any exact date as we did not have anything to refer to. And I stated that the Long Sword Group was probably created in late 1976 or early 1977. Donc le 1076 hein, qui euh, se trouve so, dans votre euh, déclaration euh, d'octobre 2008, euh, ça ne correspond pas à vos souvenirs, ou ça ne correspond plus à vos souvenirs. No longer, uh, what you can now. Ah, I cannot say whether that is uh, precise or not. Je ne peux vous le dire avec As I said, it's likely uh, to take place in late 76 or early 77. Vous avez indiqué à plusieurs reprises au cours de vos déclarations, et je crois que vous l'avez confirmé hier, qu'il n'y avait pas eu d'exhumation officielle de corps ou de reste dans les fosses que vous dites avoir, euh, avoir vu, mais vous avez indiqué que euh, la population, des membres de la population avaient creusé le sol à la recherche de biens à récupérer. Est-ce que vous pouvez indiquer quels biens étaient recherchés à ce moment-là Quel type de biens Dug up the pits after 1979 and some found uh, some packages uh, from the pits. Si on trouvait des paquets dans les fosses. And some people actually recovered uh, two, more than two kilograms of gold from one pit, d'or dans une fosse. while others found some pieces of uh, jewelry. D'autres ont trouvé des bijoux. So those young people, when they were buried, uh, they were buried along uh, with the clothes that they wore, as well as uh, some personal belongings uh, in sacks or in packages. Dans des sacs ou dans des packages. And when they dug up the, the, the pits, of course, uh, they also found skeleton remains. Vous avez indiqué hier Yesterday, à Petit peu à 9, un petit peu après 9h31, 9h32 si j'en crois le, le PV en français, vous avez indiqué qu'en 76, on avait interdit aux Cham de pratiquer leur religion 
et qui n'avaient pas non plus le droit de porter des vêtements traditionnels des Cham. Dans votre PV d'audition E35302, ERN en français 00622-3193, ERN en Khmer 00635179, ERN en anglais 00210490, vous dites que vous auriez vu dans ces fosses quelques vêtements et chapeaux de cham. Ma question est donc la suivante. Dans la mesure où, depuis 1976, les Cham devaient porter les mêmes vêtements que les Khmer, comment expliquez-vous que l'on a retrouvé des vêtements et des chapeaux de Cham dans ces fosses si, effectivement, ils ont été tués en 1977 During the Democratic Kampuchi period, when the Cham people were required to attend a meeting, for example, of course, they were not allowed to wear their traditional attire and their belongings were left at home. Despite the uh, ban by the, uh, the regime, uh, those Cham people still uh, hid some of their traditional attire at their home. And they did not dare leur leur maison, to wear uh, that uh, attire. And I did not know whether uh, they, they might uh, have worn it uh, while they were at home si without the view of uh, the people during the regime. Sous le régime. Je vous pose aussi cette question, euh, monsieur le témoin, parce que dans euh, Witness, le rapport de mission E3-2654, les coprocureurs ont apparemment interrogé un homme du nom de Lopsoul, document euh, ERN en français 00620050. ERN en anglais 00211169. ERN en Khmer 00640495. Et ça se poursuit sur la page suivante. Et voilà ce qu'il dit. Il dit qu'il est allé à Otrakun après 79, qu'il aurait vu des corps, mais qu'il ne peut pas déterminer quels corps étaient de Cham et lesquels n'étaient pas. Est-ce qu'il est exact de dire que lorsque il y a eu des fouilles ou lorsqu'il y a eu des recherches pour retrouver les biens personnels euh, que vous avez évoqué, est-il exact de dire qu'il n'était pas, euh, on, ne, on ne pouvait pas être en mesure de déterminer qui était Cham ou qui ne l'était pas I don't agree uh, with the statement of that uh, witness that in 1979, uh, when the, they exhumed the pits, you could clearly say whether they were corpses or uh, skeleton remains of the Cham people or of the Khmer people. But for me, I had lived in the area for uh, more than 30 years, and I could distinguish the uh, whether people were Cham or Khmer from uh, the way they dress, for instance. As, uh, for the killing of the Cham people, and as I testified, I learned of the dead demise uh, through uh, my a colleague, that is Moon, who Moon, was a member a of the security force. Cham, he told me about the killing of the Cham people and the exécuté. locations where dit, they were buried. Mm. And that is the truth. And the witnesses may say something differently, but they were not the one on the ground. And they may say something which is not true at all. Vous 
vous avez beaucoup parlé de Mun, euh, votre camarade. Est-il exact de dire que, en dehors de Mun, vous n'avez participé à aucune réunion avec le groupe des longues épées I did not have any relationship with the long sword group. They had different duties. I was a palm tree climber. When I noticed uh, the long sword group uh, was coming to my area, I was afraid of what they were going to do. I had no relationship with those long with the members of those long sort of group, that they were in higher position, so I did not have any relationship with the members of that group. Est-il exact également de dire que vous n'avez aucun lien avec la milice de la commune est-il exact également de dire qu'en dehors de vos fonctions de grimpeur de palmier, vous n'aviez aucune autre fonction officielle, ni au sein de la commune, ni au sein du district, ni au sein de la région Est-ce que c'est bien exact In Khmer Rouge time, I did not hold any position. I was considered a reserve person to be used by them. They could send me anywhere they wanted, and because of this, I could survive in the regime. Et il est donc exact de dire que euh, vous n'aviez pas les moyens de savoir qui prenait les décisions, comment elles étaient prises, ni ce qui était dit aux différentes réunions qui pouvaient avoir lieu à l'échelle de la commune, du secteur ou de la région. Vous avez évoqué pour la période après 1979 le fait que des documents auraient été retrouvés euh, dans une jarre. Est-ce que vous savez ce qu'il est advenu de ces documents et qui euh, les a récupérés The document recovered from the jar Les documents que l'on a retrouvés dans la jarre n'étaient pas des documents they were, people were dig, digging uh, the ground and they found a jar suddenly they went to search in the jar and ils they took out pages of paper from that jar. There was name lists of people, but I do not know what type of people were written down in uh, that document. And uh, there was no document stating that uh, 30,000 or 35,000 of people were killed during that period. It, was, it is just an estimate from uh, villagers about the numbers of people killed. Ma question précise était, est-ce que vous savez qui a pris les documents et ce qu'ils en ont fait Answer. 
from what I saw, no one were collecting uh, the document or pages of document at that time. It was uh, scattered around. No leaders uh, came to collect uh, those pages of a document. And uh, no one stated at that time the document uh, was uh, <laughs> consisted of uh, the uh, numbers of people killed in the period. And if uh, you can show me uh, that uh, original document, and I can, you know, testify whether the, that is the original document from that period. Monsieur le témoin, vraiment, je vous demande votre coopération. Encore une fois, mon, mon temps est compté. Je, je pose des questions qui sont précises et simples, qui n'appellent pas forcément de long développement. Donc, vraiment, écoutez précisément mes questions. Toujours après la période de 79, vous avez évoqué le comité de la pagode qui existe aujourd'hui. Et vous avez expliqué que Taiki Moon en faisait partie. Dans votre PV E3 5252, ERN en français 00269891, ERN en Khmer 00235021. Et je vous demande un instant pour le RN en anglais. Let me just find uh, the English ERN. Je vais le retrouver dans un instant. I will find dans it, uh, cette uh, uh, déclaration, this, vous indiquez. Uh, tous les membres du comité de cette pagode étaient tous les gens des Khmer Rouges. Est-ce que vous pouvez préciser so cette réponse et indiquer à quels autres membres vous faites référence Je serai bref dans ma réponse. Concerning members of uh, Pagoda Committee, du comité de la pagode, the Penpi Pen Pen is the chief of the kitchen at uh, the upper Zombomia A. Ah, and another person ah. is the uh, chief of the committee until today. Pourquoi avez-vous dit, et donc je vous donne a priori le RN en anglais qui est le 00235517, pourquoi avez-vous dit tous les membres du comité de cette pagode étaient tous les gens des Khmer Rouges Les deux personnes que vous venez de me citer avaient-elles des postes au moment du Kampuchea démocratique au sein de votre commune Answer. The two individuals les deux individus held position is in the Democratic Cambodia. Dagamon was the deputy of uh, Long Short Group, and Pen P was the chief of logistics. De la logistique. Uh, in the commune, and also he commune, was the chief of the kitchen in the upper Zambomia A. So the two Sambomia guys a had the position in the period. Donc ces deux personnes occupaient des fonctions officielles à l'époque. Monsieur le Président, je suis Président, consciente du temps qui m'est imparti, et même si j'ai d'autres questions à poser, je mets un terme à mon interrogatoire aujourd'hui.
the hearing of this testimony of Mr. Sein Sun has come to a conclusion now. Thank you, Mr. Sein Sun, for coming here as a witness. Déposer devant la chambre en tant que témoin. Your testimony will contribute to the truth. contribuera à la manifestation de la vérité. You may now be Vous excused. You may return to your residence or any desired destination. I wish you good luck, la happiness, une bonne and as prosperity for always. Et bonheur. Court officer, please work with the vessels to send Mr. Sun Seng to any place he wishes to go. And now, please invite uh, to TCW883 together with the duty counsel saying the tear into the courtroom. Good morning, Mr. Witness. What is your name? Answer. My name is Samrat Mui. Good morning, Mr. President. President, thank you, Mr. Samrat Mui. Can you tell the chamber when you were born? Do you recall it? Answer. I was born in 1947, said the witness. President, in 1947, is that true? 1947, is exact? Answer, yes, I was born in 1947. President, when were you born, Mr. Samrat Moui? À quel moment êtes-vous né, Monsieur Samrat Moui? Answer. I was a worker at the rubber plantation in 1970. President, I would like to know your place of birth. What is your place of birth? Answer. I was born in Sambumia, a village of PMT Kong commune, Kong district. President, thank you. What about your current address? Where are you living now? Answer. I am living in Sambumia, a village of PMT Kong commune, Kong district. President, thank you. What are your parents' names? Answer. My father's name is Samrat Mait and my mother's An Jiang. President. What about your wife? What is her name? How many children do you have? Answer. My wife's name is Samrat Samrat. I am the father of five children. 
Président. Président. Thank you. Je vous remercie. Mr. Samrat Moy. Monsieur Samrat Moy. Uh, based on the report of the Grefje, you have to know relationship with the two accused and to any of the civil parties admitted in this K002-2002. Is that true? Answer, yes, that is true. Réponse, oui, est exact. President, I was Président, also informed that you have already taken an oath before you appear. You appear before this chamber. You have already taken an oath before the Iron Club statue. Is that true? Answer: Yes, that is true. Preston. President. Now, I would like to inform you your rights and obligations as a witness before the chamber. As a witness in the proceeding before the chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comments which may criminate you right against self-incrimination. This means that you may refuse to provide your response or to make any comment that could lead you to being prosecuted. Your obligations. As a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties except where your response or comments to those questions may incriminate you, as the Chamber has just informed you of your rights as a witness. As a witness, you must tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly about an event or occurrence relevant to the questions that the bench or parties posed to you. Mr. Samrat Moy, have you ever been interviewed by the investigators of the OCIJ so far? If so, how many times did they take place and where did they take place? Do you recall it? Answer. I was interviewed twice at my house. However, I cannot tell you the exact date of the interviews. President, never mind. Before you appear in the courtroom, have you read the written records of the interview you provided two times uh, to investigator of the OCIJ at your house to refresh your memory? Answer, yes, I have read them. Oui. President, to your best knowledge, can you confirm whether the written records of the interview you have just read are consistent with what you have told the investigators at your house? Answer. I have uh, read and examined the written records of the interview, but I uh, may not recall everything. President, I understand, but the, do the written records of interviews reflect so what you told the investigators? Answer, yes. In accordance with Internal Rule 91 bis of the ECCC Internal Rule, the trial chamber will give the floor first to the co-prosecutor before other parties. The combined time for the co-prosecutor and colleague lawyers is two sessions. You may not proceed. Co-prosecutor, good morning, Mr. Mr. President, Your Honours, everyone in and around the courtroom. Good morning, Mr. Witness. My name is Sri Ratana. I am the National Deputy Co-Prosecutor of the Extraordinary Chambers in the Courts of Cambodia. I have uh, 
a few general questions I want to ask you. Where do, did you live during the Khmer Rouge period? Pendant la période des Khmer Rouges. Answer. Before the Khmer Rouge period, Avant I was a Rouge, worker at the rubber plantation in PM Chinchia. Co prosecutor, Co I am now asking you about the period. Between the 17 Entre April 1975 to 6 January 1979, you have just made a mention that uh, you were a worker at a rubber plantation. When uh, did you become the worker at that place? And when did you move out of that rubber plantation? Answer. Réponse. I was a worker at the rubber tent plantation from 1969, and later on I went to live in Sdao village because of the B-52 bombing. Question. Question. You made mention about the B-52 bombing. When did it happen? Answer. It took place in 1972 or 1973. Question. Question. When did Khmer Rouge arrive in your home village? À quel moment les Khmer Rouges sont-ils arrivés dans votre village natal? Answer. Réponse. While I was in the village, uh, the Khmer Rouge Zdao, came to that place in 1971. Question. I was asking Question. you about uh, your home village. Uh, you stated that you returned to natal. your home village uh, after the B-52 bombing. I'm not asking you about the Sdao village uh, you mentioned earlier. I would like to know when the Khmer Rouge came to control your home village. village President, National Président. Deputy Co-Prosecutor, could you please specify the name of his home village? The witness already told you about uh, the name of the home village. Please specify it, otherwise natal, the witness will get confused about the places you are referring to. And uh, if parlez. you mentioned en outre, si the Democratic Kampuchea regime, I think it is clearer to all of us because the Khmer Rouge regime is broader term. Est un terme plus générique. So, if uh, we are referring to the Democratic Cambodia, Donc, si it is uh, the period from 17 April 1975 up to 6 January 1979. So, please break your questions into you know pieces so that uh, witness can understand simple, them well. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. You, a while ago, said that you returned instant, to live in your home village. And from what natal. I heard, you said your vous home village uh, was uh, some village natal, a village, a PMG Kong commune, Kong Mia district, Kampung Cham province. When you returned to live in your home village, had the Khmer Rouge troop arrived in your home village already? Answer. Réponse. Yes. 
Oui. Uh, the Khmer Rouge, the troop, had arrived in my Khmer area when I returned to ma région, my whole village. village natal. President, you may now proceed, uh, Council Kung Sum On. Council Kung Sum On. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, my apology for interruption, Mr. National Deputy Co-Prosecutor. The witness stated that he was interviewed twice. However, I have only one written record of the interview. So now I would like to know from the co-prosecutor whether we have uh, two different uh, written records of interview or we have just one that I have. Deputy co-prosecutor, Mr. President, uh, do you permit me to verify to that point uh, with the witness, President? Uh, yes, every party is in entitled to verify it and to ask about the matter. So I don't think some uh, matters in relation to procedures conducted by the court may not be necessary to be asked by parties. National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, Mr. Witness, while you were living in your home village, what was Monsieur your occupation le, le, le back then? Monsieur le témoin, lorsque vous étiez dans ce village, quel était votre travail? Answer: I was living in a cooperative. Réponse: J'habitais dans une coopérative. Question: Question: Did you remain in a cooperative? until la a later stage, and uh, did you have any position longtemps? in your home village? Et aviez-vous une fonction officielle dans votre village natal Answer. I was living Réponse. in a cooperative and I was tasked uh, uh, you know, with militia position in the commune. commune. Can you clarify this point Procureur. for the chamber? Did you become a commune militia man or a village a militia man? De commune? Aux miliciens de village. Answer. Réponse. From 1974 and 1975 to 1975, I was a commune militia man. Question. Later on. Question. Et plus tard. After 1975, uh, did you change uh, your position? Votre a Answer. Réponse. I was still living in co uh, in that cooperative uh, from 1975, and I was still in the position of uh, a commune a militia man. Question. You Question. were interviewed by investigators of the OCIJ, document E3-9346, Ioning Command 0, 15, English 00, 23, French 00, 27. You stated that. Vous dites. I was assigned to be a commune militia man. Translation. Could you clarify this point for the chamber? De Did, uh, were you assigned to be a commune militia man or a village militia man? And how were commune militia man and village militia man different? Et quelle était la différence entre les deux types de milices? Uh, I was a member of the commune militia until 75, and when I returned from the work site, I was uh, reassigned uh, to uh, guard the village. However, the village was already part of the cooperative at the time.
question. Could you please uh, state it precisely? Would you oui, belong vous to the village or the commune militia? Vous because in your uh, written statement, it uh, says you belong to the commune militia. Vous êtes, de la milice de commune. And uh, Réponse. From 1975 to 76, I was reassigned to be part of the commune militia. Commune. Questioned, and Question. as a member of the uh, militia, allow me to go back a, a bit. You said you were assigned uh, to be a member of the militia. Who was the person that? made this assignment. Qui vous a affecté à la milice? Answer. Réponse. It was the uh, commune chief. And actually, I was uh, sent le chef by de the commune. village chief uh, through the commune en fait, chief. le chef de village qui m'a envoyé voir le chef de commune. Question. I don't really get it. Did you say Question. the village chief or the commune chief that chef appointed you to be part of the militia group? And what was the name? Et comment s'appelait cette personne? Answer. Réponse. It was comrade E, le camarade the village chief, e who sent me to live at the commune. Qui envoyé vivre à la commune. So I was selected by him to go to work at the commune level. Au niveau de la commune. Question. Question. You were assigned to guard, as you said. What did you get? Or whom did you get? On vous avez dit que vous été affecté à la garde. Where? À la garde de qui? De quoi? Answer. Réponse. I worked uh, as other villagers uh, during the daytime and le at night time I was assigned to guard within the area under the commune administration. Monter la garde dans la région qui est administrée par la commune. Question. Question. And were you told any specific uh, instructions as what uh, you should or what do you, you should do during your uh, guarding duty? Votre tour de garde? Answer. I was a militiaman and my uh, duty was to guard the village at night time. And of course, the uh, village was part of the commune. Et bien entendu, le village faisait partie de la commune. Question: And Question. which village? Quel village? Answer. Réponse. I actually, at the time, lived à in uh, Saxo Cooperative. Dans la coopérative de Saxo. Question: Question. And what year was that? En quelle année était-ce? Answer. Réponse. I was at uh, Saxo in 1976. J'étais à Saxo en 1976. Question. Question. Speaking about Saxo village, how far was Saxo, Saxo village from Sambomi uh, village? Quelle distance which is your Saxo native de village? Qui est votre village natal? Answer. Réponse. Sambomi A and Saxo A. Saxo Villages are adjacent to one another. Question. Question. And how many uh, families uh, were living in Combien that village at the time? À Answer. Uh, there were many families uh, at the time living in that village. Question. Question. I understand that you cannot give us an exact figure Je of the number of people living in the village. However, can you uh, tell the chamber whether the number Mais of uh, people living si in the village was in hundreds or in thousands? Answer. 
I uh, know there were many of them, and the village was full of villagers, but I cannot give you the figure. Question. And from your observation, were those villagers all Khmer? Was there a mixture of a Khmer with other ethnicity? And uh, uh, there were Cham people and Khmer people living, uh, mixing together in Saxo. Saxo. Question. Question. Speaking about the Cham people, Pourquoi were there many uh, Cham families living in Saxo? Cham, uh, Saxo? Answer. Réponse. There were more Cham families living in Saxo than Khmer Il y families. Il y avait plus de Cham que Khmer à Saxo. Question. Question. Were they the original settlers in the village, or were village? they uh, newcomers? I mean, were they sent from other uh, areas to come and lived in that village? Pour venir habiter dans ce village. And so. Réponse. They were the original settlers there. Oui, Question regarding the Cham people Question. in Saxo. A propos des Cham à Saxo. Did you know about any event involved uh, in the arrest of the Cham people there? Avez-vous eu connaissance de l'arrestation de Cham à cet endroit? Answer. Réponse. In late 1976 or early 77, I was uh, sent to live uh, in the cooperative, and that was the time that uh, the arrest of the Cham people uh, started. Que les arrestations de Cham ont commencé. Question. Question. Can you elaborate a bit further regarding this event, that is, uh, the event of the arrest of the Cham people? When did exactly it happen? Answer. Réponse. It happened in 1977. En Question. Question. And how many Cham people were arrested at Et that particular time? Cham a -t à ce -là? Answer. Réponse. All the Cham people were arrested except uh, on a arrêté tous les one Cham. family, Sauf that is husband and a wife. Il y avait en effet un couple. Question. Do you mean that all the Cham people living in Saiso village were arrested and Cham only a husband and a wife uh, were not arrested? Answer, yes, Réponse. that is correct. C'est exact. Question. Question. Do you mean all the Cham people were arrested? Do you mean that uh, within a family, for instance, the husband and the wife and the children were arrested all together? Les enfants, tout le monde. Answer. Yes, I saw them being walked along the street, and I lived in the cooperative, and I could see from where I stood, and I saw all the Cham people, including young children, were being walked. Uh, Question. And you said that Question. all arrested except a family of a husband and wife. Why this husband, why this couple was not arrested? Were they not in the village when the arrest took place? And so I was not aware of that because by that time I had uh, lived in the uh, cooperative and later on I learned uh, that family survived the ordeal.
question. So only after you return to live in the village, you saw that couple, and that made you to believe that this couple was this couple survived. Answer. As I said, uh, at the time I was living in the cooperative and I was uh, assigned to guard a, a cornfield and this couple actually fled and came to seek a refuge at the uh, shelter where I was staying. Question. Can you tell the court Question. about the process of the arrest? Were all young people arrested at the same time, or the arrest was carried out successively? Answer: I only saw one large arrest where all the young were arrested. I was Tous living at the temps. kitchen hall. Moi, I was afraid to go near, but I saw the young people to walk. Euh, au réfectoire, j'avais peur de m'en approcher. Question. Mais j'ai vu qu'ils avaient And who actually uh, conducted the arrest Et of those young people? Qui a procédé à l'arrestation de ces young? And so at that time, I did not know who made the arrest since I had lived in the cooperative. However, that was the arrest took place after the arrival of the Southwest group. Mais l'arrestation a eu lieu après l'arrivée du groupe du Sud-Ouest. Question. And when the Chan people were being walked, et alors que l'on faisait marcher les Chan. What was uh, the, the 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 process of uh, the jam being walked? I mean, how many uh, people actually escorted uh, them Combien de personnes on the road? Les escorter. And so Sur I watch uh, the jam being walked uh, from afar. So I cannot tell you how many jam, people actually were escorting them at the time. Euh, les Question. Question. And can you recognize those people or where they, uh, they were from? Saviez-vous d'où ils venaient? Answer, Réponse. no, I did not, since non. I did not uh, approach uh, them. Je ne me suis pas I was uh, far behind at Moi, the cooperative, so I could not identify the, those people. Donc je n'étais pas en mesure d'identifier les gens. Question. Question. Did you ever hear about the so-called long sword? Avez-vous jamais entendu parler du groupe aux longues épées? Answer. Réponse. The long sword group was uh, established by the Southwest group after their arrival. Les gens du Sud-Ouest qui l'ont créé quand ils sont arrivés. Question. Question. And did you know any member of the Long Sword Group? Certains des membres de ce groupe? And so I only Réponse. saw these uh, security people walking around carrying swords, and vu, I did not dare enfin, to approach them. Tout ce que j'ai vu des gens des forces de sécurité qui se promenaient avec de longues épées, et je n'ai pas osé. Were members of the Long Sword Group uh, different group from members of uh, the militia that you belong to? Vous Answer. Réponse. Of course, uh, we were different. Oui, uh, in the morning, we were sent to work in the field, matin, and we uh, was involved. We were involved in the uh, guard duty at night. Et nous la garde la nuit. Question. Question. Was there any link between the two groups? Work-wise? En termes de travail? Answer. Réponse. No, there wasn't. Non. Actually, the long sword group was uh, established le at a later stage, and by that time, I had been reassigned to leave and work at the cooperative. Réaffecté à la cooperative. Question. Question. 
Let's speak about those people who conducted the arrest of the Cham people. Des gens Did you see des them gens. carrying any kind of weapon? Avez-vous vu s'ils étaient armés? Answer. Réponse. I did not actually uh, observe them carefully. I only saw them from a distance. I did vu, not go loin. near them. So I cannot de... tell you uh, about this. Je ne saurais vous dire ce qu'il en est. Question. Réponse. Question. And before that arrest took place, were you aware of any plan to, that Avant had been prepared for the arrest? For example, through a meeting? Plan? And so, while I lived uh, in Saxo with the Cham people, we were not aware réponse. of anything. However, all the people were called to attend a meeting at the uh, Damnat Sarai. All the people were called to attend, that is, after the arrival of Southwest. And after that, the arrest of two places. Question, did you attend that meeting? And uh, yes, all people réponse. who lived oui. in the cooperative were called to attend uh, that meeting after the arrival of uh, that Southwest group, and after that, the arrest took place. Question, 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 who chaired that meeting? Et qui a animé la réunion? Answer, Réponse. it was Khan, the district uh, secretary, Le who was a Southwest person. Qui était du sud Question. Question. And what did he say during that meeting? Et qu'a-t-il dit lors de la réunion? Answer. Réponse. The main uh, topic uh, that they spoke about at the time was for us to respect uh, Ankara. And they also spoke about uh, working hard. That's all Et I recall. Question. How long after the conclusion of uh, the meeting and the arrest of the Cham took place? And uh, I cannot recall it uh, precisely since I then was assigned to live at the cooperative. However, it was not long after the meeting was concluded. Question. Question. By the way, how many meetings uh, had Soit taken place uh, before the commencement of the arrest? You mentioned that you attended a meeting. Did you attend other meetings besides this one before the arrest of the Cham people? And so they called all people from the cooperative to attend at that meeting, and that was the, the one meeting that we all attended. Besides that, we all were busy working in the field. Question. And let's let talk. Uh, let's talk about that meeting. Besides Khan and the participation of all the villagers, were other people uh, attending? For example, senior cadres or members of the militia or members of the long sort of group. Answer. Réponse. No, uh, not no. during uh, that meeting. Only the villagers were called to attend the meeting. And only later on, this law, the long sword group uh, was uh, established. Que on a créé le groupe des longues épées. Question. Question. Did you participate uh, in that meeting as a civilian or as a member of the militia? En qualité de civil ou comme membre de la militia? And so uh, I was a civilian because by that time I was uh, reassigned to leave and worked in the cooperative. À la cooperative. Question. Question. Again, regarding the arrest of the Cham people and uh, the one that you saw, 
toujours sur le sujet de l'arrestation des chambres de la vérité, day day that 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 à quel place. moment de la journée cela s'est produit Answer, it was in late afternoon after I returned from working in the field and I was having my porridge. Je suis en je, je, je mange Question. ma soupe de riz. And can Question. you say around what time the, during that late afternoon? Vers quelle heure? And uh, it was around a bit uh, after five o'clock in the Donc, afternoon, that is after I returned from the king Donc, in the field. Que je sois rentré de mes travaux agricoles. Question. Question. You observed the process of the Cham people being walked along the road. Du fait que les Did you observe le long de la route? Uh, any uh, Cham people were uh, tied up, tortured, si ces gens or uh, bitten? Attachés, battus, torturés. Answer. Réponse. No, non. I did not see such details. Je I, pas vu walked, ces I watched rather Moi, from a distance, and I could not see it. And the arrest uh, in the village uh, had, taken had taken place earlier while I was in the cooperative. Dans la cooperative. President. Le President. Thank you, National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, and thank you, Mr. Adjoint. Witness. It is now appropriate for us to have a short break. Le moment est venu de prendre la pause. We take a break now and return at 20 débats, to 11. And call the service assist the witness during the short break time and invite pendant. him as Pose. well as the duty council back Et into the courtroom and courtroom at 20 to ah. 11. Some change, Croucho.